Well, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of Blissverse. And in this episode, I think we will do a little interior decorating of the house. I see somebody left the door open again, so we will rectify that. I'm going to move this just very slightly. It does not appear to be aligned. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're going to figure out how we want to do the interior of this. And... Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do with this series. I need to show you guys the corruption layer and how to build and survive down there. There's always going to be built room for building tutorials for sure, but I'm not 100% certain uh, what's left to do. I really don't know. I mean, this is going to be a little bit just decorating it as it is. Let's turn off our light so we have our actual lighting. All right, it's too bad we don't have any banners or posters or anything we could post on that and that it would actually work because they're slabs, but maybe I can do a design with different slabs or something. I don't know yet. I was thinking there should be another floor. Let's figure out how we want to do this. So for this episode, we'll just do some interior decorating. We're going to figure out where to put some chests and... Uh, make this thing a little more usable and go from there and I gotta figure out where the best place to put chests are I of course could line them up all along these windows here I could even surround the windows with chests there's nothing saying that I can't do that I could even bring out these two here so that it looks like there's more of stuff holding up the wall. And then fill the interim with chests. Let's take a look at that and see what we think. We're going to go ahead and enter our creative mode. So let's see, we'll add chests, I think. We're all done with lighting, so we don't need any of that. There might be more stuff going on, but uh, we'll go with the architect chests to start. Might as well use the grands. I'm trying to think. I think the best spot for me to put them will be right here and then to rotate. So we will use R and rotate that way. And then we will use R and rotate this way. And then we've got this wood here we can put signs on if we need signs. Now we've got the pillars we can put signs on. Now I don't think we're going to need much more than all of this storage. Now we've got a problem here, it'd be very hard to get to storage chests that are up in here. You wouldn't be able to access them, you might be able to access these okay, so we got to figure out a way to, to do that. And then we can put our machines along these ledges here. That should work for the machines. So we can put signs above and then signs to each side. The only one it doesn't cover is this middle one. That would be the only issue on that. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just add the two for right now. So that fills in that wall, makes that look a little better, lights up our area. I'm still not 100% sold, but best I can come up with for now. And yeah, now we've got plenty of chests, plenty, plenty, plenty of chests. Okay, let's get some machines up in here. Not the kind of machines I was thinking of here. Maybe it's under manufacturing. Hey, we've got a home range. I don't know what the heck that is, but let's grab it. Let's grab a cooking station, a crafting table, which I have no idea what that is. I've never even used one. That must be a new block type. I did get some of the free packs that they had, so be sure when you're trying Creative Verse that you, uh, when you're playing it, is you get those free packs because there are quite a few of them available. I wasn't going to try to make like a kitchen space and make this like a real house. I was going to just make this like a creative verse space for doing your creative verse stuff. That's kind of was the plan here. This probably should not be wood. I should probably change this to some kind of block uh, because this could light on fire. I don't know how fire damage works very much in uh, Creative Verse. I cannot say for sure. Let's see here. Oh, how do we want to lay this out? And then over here, I guess we'll put whatever this crafting table is. I have no idea. Let's open one up and see what it does. So it's like an automatic. It can craft whatever it is that you got going on, I guess. Let's just put the bed down here, I guess. I'm not sure yet. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I'm a little stumped on the how I want to do this. I hate it when I have the headboard kind of floating off in space. I'd want to put something on the other side of it if I did that. Then it would feel right to me, but it would be hard to put something there because of this. Of course, the other way would be to run the head this way and then put something here.
what do you think? Got a few bookshelves for a little extra storage down here. Can put a desk along there and then maybe along the back end we'll place a chest. And I went to the wrong area because I was up too high, I guess. I think I like that. That looks like a pretty cozy little area for somebody's bed. You could go out the door if you want. Yeah, I like that. I could live there. we've got to add here I don't normally go into all of this detail when I'm trying to decorate a house I just want to have a place where I can dump my stuff and move on but trying to be nice here and make this look really cool So for these end ones, we'll just put a little arrow that points to the chest because obviously when you've got it, it could go to either direction. So you got to figure out how to map it out. Some of these plaques will probably be removed. I'll just place them all here for now as I think about how things are going to get placed. We should have some plants. Um, I've never been one much for decorating with plants, but we should have some plants around somewhere.
I don't know, to me that seems a little close to the fire and I don't like it. So I'm going to do a design foible and I'm going to put the stove right next to the sink. Unless I can maybe put the sink on the other side of the fridge. Let me see if that works. I think that will work. Now you might get some water down your back if you're on the couch, but at least you don't have to worry about fried food falling down there. There's room to walk around. And uh, we could put a little coffee pot on here just for a joke. I mean, after all, I always have coffee, so. They've given us a toilet as a seat. Can you believe that? Okay, so kitchen is in, storage is in, labels are in, everything is pretty much ready upstairs. I can put this light back that we had over here. After all, Grandma's got to have her reading light, right? So we need a place for a weapon rack or two. I guess the skillet's not a placeable item. Okay. I ate whatever was in that skillet. Hopefully it was edible. Hopefully my cooking's not too bad. Anything else you think I should add? I think my decoration's about done. Uh, let me know if you think there's anything else I should add. Uh, or what you think on that. Um, I'm gonna take a look, make sure there's nothing else. We'll call this video done for now. Okay, let's place these items and wrap this up. Did you see that Ram Brew soda? I thought that was funny. I thought my guy might have some artistic ambitions, so I'm going to give him an easel to play with.
All right, well, let me know what you guys think of my interior decorating job. How did I do? Did I do terribly? Did I do okay? Do you think it's pretty cool? If you could live here in real life, is there something uh, missing? Other than, of course, the obvious, which would be a toilet. But, you know, I mean, otherwise, if you didn't have to go to the bathroom ever in the game, and you don't really have to go to the bathroom, maybe this is a good enough spot. I don't know. I think I'm going to put the anvil out here along the corner and maybe put a little garden out here. I haven't decided yet, but that's probably what will happen next. And uh, then I got to get you down into the corrupted layer. We got to do a dig straight down, get some equipment so we can get down there, show you guys how to survive down there. And I don't know what else to do with the series, so if you have any ideas, let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, well, that concludes this episode. Be sure to leave a thumb up if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or any of my other videos. Uh, be sure to hit that notification icon so that you can be notified when any new videos are released. And leave me some comments, feedback, suggestions so that I can improve and do even better for you guys. Also, please stop by my uh, Teespring store. I've got more designs coming over from Spreadshirt, but this is what I have here right now. I've got three cool designs. I've got this mask does not equal safe. It's kind of an attitude for everybody trying to make us wear masks right now. I've got this Zen saying and drawing that I did to reach your destination, embrace a journey. I think that's really cool. I've got a poem over here. Poem says, life doesn't have to be so hard. It has a flow. Sometimes you'll drift. Sometimes you'll row. But you get to choose a destination you'll go. I think that's really cool also. So uh, go ahead and grab some of this stuff. And that will support me and help me in my continuing work at YouTube. And I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.